Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are of course at the Equip Exposition and I'm super excited to be able to be at the steel area. We're at the Outdoor Center. We're gonna be checking out all of their latest and greatest equipment. All right, I'm here with James at the uh, mowing station. And James, this is a brand new product from Steel. It's That's the correct. Steel RZA 760. Can you kind of give me a rundown of this whole machine? Sure, so our RZA 760 here is our battery powered 60 inch zero turn. Go 16 mile an hour and we'll run about eight hours on a full charge. I see you got uh, the charging port here. Yep, the charging plug inserts here. Okay, and this just goes into like a yep. standard wall outlet. So there are two charging options for these. You can slow charge it, which would be overnight, and you can fast charge it. Um, so you can get about 40% of the battery back in four hours. What is this here? Is this the con uh is this a compartment? Yep, that's a compartment for your phone. Oh, you get and you can close. plug in with a USB-C, a regular USB. There's a master kill switch for service, so you can completely switch battery power off. And this is a three-bladed uh, machine. It's that's a, correct. Oh, Sixty-inch. Do yep. they make them in um, like 52, 54, 48, 52, and 60? And what's the retail price of this machine here? So uh, where do they start at? 27,000. So this one, I believe, retails around 27.5. 27 27.5. Depending on what deck option you want, that can increase or decrease the price by 500. These machines are more so designed for weekly maintenance mowing. As far as maintenance, I mean, there's there's hardly anything, right? For on a battery mower. Yeah, it's um, uh, basically the rest of the unit is mostly maintenance free and just your normal mowing deck maintenance. Well, I'm gonna get on the machine here and try it out. Just see how comfortable it is. Sure. It's got a really nice suspended seat. And you can like adjust that. the seat based on your weight. Oh, okay, you got the adjustment here. Does it slide forward and back? It does, yep. Yeah, push oh, it Oh, there we in. go, yep. okay. Oh, there, yeah. So for me, it's all the way back. That's awesome. Really smooth handles. Yep, and there is no parking brake lever on these. When your handles are out, you're in park and the brakes applied. You can either conserve or use more power wheel speed um, you can select four options there so it's zero to 16 mile an hour speed range 16 miles per hour and fourth yep wow <laughs> that's fast <laughs> yeah you think we can hit 16 miles per hour on this track so yeah no parking brake just once you're in all right here it is thing Super quiet. And again, like like we heard before, there is no parking brake. So once you let go of the handles, that's your parking brake right there. That was a quick preview of what we got in the steel outdoor demo area. Let's go ahead and go inside and see what they got new over there in the indoor booth. All right, guys, we are here in the indoor booth this is a huge indoor facility of course steel has probably one of the bigger booths out here at the equip exposition so we're gonna go ahead and check out to see what we didn't see outdoors so of course we have a few new push mowers I could see some RMs we got a 655 YS gas mower and then this is more kind of more for your residential style but then we also have what looks like a commercial RM 756 it's got a Kohler Command Pro on it. That's really nice, nice bagging system. So a new RMA 765, new line of chainsaws. Now you got a 162, 172C, you got the 182 and the 182C. So a lot of them, as you can see now, they have lightweight bars. Um, they show the kind of bars that they have. And then we also have the 212 CBE. So pretty cool, nice. Uh, engine shroud, updated engine shroud, a lot more sleek design. Somebody's gonna win. 
we got the KMA 120. So we have the 135R. Now this is the 120, and I believe it is, there's no price tags on here, but I think it is uh, a little bit less expensive than the 135Rs. But again, you get the updated handle, and of course, it is a little bit lighter. So pretty nice unit. You can attach any of these attachments here. So you have your string trimmer, your blower, your steel um, reciprocating saw. You have a chainsaw and all the other attachments here. You even got the broom attachment that you can throw on, hedge trimmer attachments, you name it, you can throw it on here. All right, we got the IMO 7EV or EVO, I think it's EVO or EVD, one of those. Got to show you guys this MSA 300C. This is probably the beefiest battery chainsaw steel has made. I mean, this thing is huge. And look at the bar size. It's got a nice 20 inch bar on it. It's a light uh, version. And of course, there's no teeth on it for safety purposes. But you got an eco mode. You also have three different settings on how fast you want this thing to operate. So if you're not doing any major cuts, you can save battery by going to eco mode. And it'll also give you some light indicators if your brake is on, if you need to uh, lubricate your chain and for overheating and then an on uh, power button there. So. For all of you homeowners that are looking to get into the Combi series, this is a really good start right here. This is the KMA 80. So even smaller version but the cool thing is this takes AK series batteries, not the AP ones that I use. So the AKs are a lot lighter. And again, the two settings that you've seen from outdoor, you have the uh, eco mode and then you have your regular mode, which is a lot faster. But again, super lightweight. If I were to run this, uh, of course, I, I wouldn't be able to run this because of the, uh, the amount of runtime I need far exceeds what this will allow. But again, KMA 80, if you're a residential homeowner, if you're trimming or sweeping or edging for 10, 15 minutes, this is perfect for you. And that is a wrap of what steel has to offer for 2023 and headed into 2024. So I hope you enjoyed that video. There's so much new technology out there from steel. As you guys have seen, steel is pushing their battery line of products. I wish that there were a lot more new gas uh, machines out there. I wish there was a BR900, but we didn't get a brand new gas backpack blower. However, again, with this new technology, a lot of things are going into battery, and I had fun at the Steel Indoor and Outdoor booth. I'm, I'm glad that I tried out majority of the new tools that were out there. Some of them have been seen before. Some of them have never been seen before. So I hope that you got something out of today's video and I hope that you are excited as I am to try some of this new technology, new tools coming from Steel for 2024. Thank you again so much for watching. Take care, God bless you. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to leave those questions in the comments down below. Take care, God bless you, and we'll see you in the next one.